Hello and welcome to day four of Legs Matter. A very warm welcome from me, Monica Smith. I'm the Lymphology Training Manager from Medi. I'm with Kate Williams today. And today we're going to talk to you about compression hosiery flat neck garments for you. There is a Q&A session for you to ask any questions. Um, pop them in the chat box if you like, and we can have a general chat afterwards. We're gonna play you a video now and talk all things compression. Enjoy it. So let's get cracking and talk about compression. In this session, we're going to talk about why compression may be advised for you, what considerations are needed before compression therapy can be prescribed, what is a compression garment made from, how we get the right style to suit you, and how frequently you need to be measured, and most importantly, how you get compression on and off. So why do we advise wearing compression therapy? Wearing compression will improve your limb shape and streamline your body contours. It will help to support your body tissues, that's the fleshy bit of your body, and reduce any joint pain you may suffer with. It will also encourage your veins and your lymphatic system to work properly and to reduce any swelling and to help any ulcers heal. It will also help to reduce the risk of infection. There are various aspects to be considered before prescribing compression hosiery. The first one is to make sure that you are suitable for compression and that is that it's safe for you. So your clinician will ask you various questions and undertake some tests. They should also determine whether you're able to get your compression hosiery on and off or if somebody is available to help you. Your clinician should also decide on the compression that you should be prescribed. They should look at the limb shape the feel of your body tissues, your weight, the style most appropriate for you and the strength of the garment that they are going to prescribe for you and then they should teach you how to get the garment on and off. You may be interested to know what materials make a compression garment. The first one is polyamide to give the garment its tensile strength and the second one is elastane to give the garment its huggability and recoil against your limb. Many don't use latex or rubber, so there is no risk of garments creating an allergic reaction. Medi provide two unique elements. The first one is Climafresh, which is an antibacterial weave built into the knitting technique in the foot of the garment. The second one is Climacomfort, which runs throughout the whole of the garment, a special technique in the fabric to wick away moisture to allow your limbs to be cool in the summer months. It is important that the right fabric is chosen to make your compression garment. The first one is circular or round knit, which is a seamless fabric knitted on a circular cylinder with a fixed stitch count. This garment is highly elastic and the material is very fine. The second one is flat knit, which is a seamed garment so any shape is possible and it's knitted in a flat bed of knitting needles with low elastic fibres giving a high working pressure so the fabric is much firmer. We predominantly use flat neck compression in the management of lymphedema because limbs come in all shapes and sizes with very often deep skin creases around the knees and ankles. If we used a thin material of round neck compression, it would dig in at joints causing discomfort and pain, but flat knit with a firmer fabric bridges those creases and contours the limb shape giving comfort and containment. At Medi, we have three different fabrics within our flat knit range suitable for all different sizes and shapes. We have Mediven Mondi, Mediven Cozy and Mediven 550. There are lots of factors to take into consideration before prescribing compression. The first, as I've said before, is the type of fabric, which will depend on your stage and condition. The second is the strength of the compression, often referred to as the compression class. The third is the style of the garment. Fourth is colour and fifth, most importantly, Fashion. Getting the right style for you is really important and we're here to help you and advise you. To get your compression garments on, they can be made in different sections with many different styles, combinations and colours to choose from. This will depend on how your skin feels and your tissues, whether they're hard or soft, the shape of your limbs and the contours that they have to bridge. Always be guided by your clinician. 
As you can see from this slide, any style is possible with clinical reasoning. So your clinician could advise you to have a below knee, a thigh high, tights, one-legged tights, footless tights, capri shorts, Bermuda shorts, socks, leggings, anything that is going to be comfortable for you and help your condition. The highlighted magenta areas in this slide show how Medi's flat knit compression hosiery contours at the joints. So each garment is tailored for individuals, people who are on the go and very active, or for those who are more sedentary. Compression hosiery has progressed positively over recent years, and we are now able to offer colours and patterns at no extra charge on prescribable garments. This allows you to be fashionable on your day-to-day -day lives. When it comes to applying our compression hosiery at home, couldn't we all use a butler? Applicator aids such as a Medi Butler or our Medi 2-in-1 help you to apply and remove your garments on a daily basis. These applicators consider patients' dexterity and can also be used by carers and family members. Your clinician should always follow the manufacturer's guidance when taking measurements. If they are unsure, they should ask a company representative for advice and help. At Medi, our garments last for six months of daily use, but how many garments you are allowed depends on individual budgets and NHS trust policies. It is possible to purchase further garments yourself, but this is an expensive route. You will need to be remeasured every year unless your condition changes within that 12 month period. Please make sure that you check your prescription on collection and the quickest route to getting your prescription is by going directly to the company via a prescription by free post envelope. To summarise this presentation, remember that compression should never hurt or be uncomfortable and if it is, it's due to measuring or fitting or the wrong fabric. Make sure it's applied without any wrinkles or creases and put your compression on first thing in the morning and remove it at night if possible. Be sure of the reason why you're being prescribed compression and be guided by your clinician for the most appropriate fabric, style, class and standard. Make sure as well that you are taught how to get your compression on and off and ask questions because it's your body, so feel good about it. Thank you very much for listening and please ask any questions that you may have. Thank you, Monica. It's a really interesting video. Um, hopefully we'll get some questions through, but I was there's one thing I wanted to ask or a comment is the variety of colours that you can get compression in now. Yes, we're really lucky actually that we can offer that variety for people on drug tariff on prescription route. And I think it's really important to let them feel more part of their daily lives um, and the fashionable elements. You can get patterns um, for patients now as well, as long as very trendy colours as well. So I think it would, I think gone are the days of the Nora Batty um, sand and American tan. <laughs> Good yeah, they look great. They're so bright. The colours, they're lovely. Yeah. And I think if you're a female as well, it gives you back that femininity that you so need in your life. So I, I think we're really lucky and it, there's no extra cost. And one of the good things about our Medi products is that any of the dyes that we use can be discharged into water courses and not cause any pollution at all. So they're very safe and environmentally friendly. Yeah. Great. Can I ask a question, actually? When you mentioned that the, um, the, the last for six months for continuous wear, yeah. does that mean if you have two pairs, does that mean they'd last for 12 months? Because that's right. That's right. Yes. So you get a wash and a wear. Some days, if you're lucky, you'll get a third for a Sunday vest. But yeah, you get a wash and a wear and that will last for 12 months of daily use. And that's the RAL standard. Yeah. That could fall, in, your new hosiery then could fall in with your 12 month yeah. assessment. Yeah, we recommend that everybody gets remeasured if their condition changes, but at least once a year. No, it's really interesting. I think it's really helpful as well for people to really understand the difference between flat knit and circular knit because the temptation is often, with patients I've seen, um, the temptation is often to go for the much thinner fabric, which really might not suit them. No, that's right. If they've got any shape distortion at all, then it's going to dig in behind their knees or their ankles, so it will cause a lot of harm to them. So flat knit compression hosiery for any sort of limb alteration in shape 
uh, is beneficial. Yeah, I've just remembered actually, Kate, we've got another part of our video to play at the end. Maybe if the facilitators, when we finish Q&A, could pop it on. It's only a couple of minutes long and it might just tie up some loose ends. Yeah, that'd be really helpful. Yeah. 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 Are there any other questions, ladies and gentlemen, out there in the wider world that you want to ask? Kate and I are very happy to field any questions that come in. Do you want to pop anything in the chat? No. It's all about the colours for me, I've got to be honest. I love yeah. it. Yeah, I think, I think we're very happy. Danger. Yeah, and lots of different styles now that are available. You know, you don't have to have a below knee, you don't have to just tights or thigh high. You can have any combination that will help application because we recognize that sometimes it can be difficult to get garments on. Um, and so we can have any combination, any color, any style. And that we have trend colors as well that change every year. So um, it keeps up to date with what's in vogue really. Yeah. Um, We've got a new fabric out now called Medivan Cozy, which is for um, people suffering particularly with lipedema, but also other clinical indications for advanced lymphedema or again, shape distortion. Um, it's a flat knit garment. It has um, a ve it's very easy to get on because it's got a high longitudinal stretch. So it's very comfortable. It's very flexible as well. So people who are on the move all day long, um, people who are sitting as well. So it's a very, very versatile fabric. And as it says on the name, it's cozy and it's very comfortable. Yeah. And the colours and patterns don't cost any extra at all. They're built into the fabric, built into the garments cost. Yeah, it's really important that people realise there's such variety. Yes, yeah. And a few yeah. times during the week, which is great, the variety that's out there with all the different companies, the different styles, the different fabrics. Yeah, there's a lot on offer these days. Right. There's yeah. so yeah. much on offer and it's brilliant what yeah. people actually achieve. Yeah. And of course, if you are only allowed two garments on drug tariff on prescription, the person themselves can actually buy more so they can actually go directly to Medi with the made to measure form and just say I need another pair um, and that can um, occur yeah so it's important when patients get the made to measure garments that they look after the documents that come with them yes yeah we have a message here from Debbie and um, her question is how do private practices purchase garments for patients and the approximate cost of the product well, because they're a made to measure garment, it all de always depends on the, the measurements. But if you do a made to measure garment, you can always contact Medi and they will give you um, a price. Um, how you purchase them, you can go, go directly to Medi and pay it either by credit card or if you have a budget, you can raise um, a requisition, so a purchase order. And we, um, we do offer training. We have videos that we can send out to people. Obviously with this technology of Zoom and all these wonderful IT platforms, we can offer virtual appointments now so we don't have to present in face-to-face. In, uh, um, -face. So we've got the option of face-to-face, -face. we've got Zoom and Teams. So we can offer guidance to clinicians to actually talk them through that process of getting the, the accurate measurements for patients. Um, we have As a question. clinician. Sorry, go on. Sorry, as a clinician, and I'm not a lymphedema specialist nurse, but as a clinician, and I know um, on behalf of generalist nurses, practice nurses, community nurses, the companies support from various companies with measuring hosieries and valuable, and the technology that we can use now where it can just be done on a phone so they can see the limb and support the nurse is really, really helpful. Yeah, yeah it's great, isn't it? I yeah. think now, um, should we play the short video? Yeah, that would be helpful. Yeah, come back for maybe any questions otherwise. Thank you.
Meine Kompression spielt für mich die Rolle, dass sie mein Freund geworden ist. Ich fühle mich wohl mit ihr, so wohl, dass ich sie sogar schon vergesse. Und die langen Tage fallen mir irgendwie leichter. Eine gute Kompression macht für mich vor allem aus, dass sie mich nicht einschränkt, dass ich sie nicht spüre, dass sie mich mehr unterstützt als hemmt in meinem Alltag. So I hope you enjoyed that, ladies and gentlemen. We have got another few questions that have come in, actually. Um, one is, if I put weight on, would I need to be remeasured? Yes, you would. If your shape alters, if your clinical condition alters, then you will need to be remeasured. Otherwise, your garments aren't going to fit and they'll be uncomfortable. If they're uncomfortable, you won't wear them, and so they won't be clinically effective for you. Another question, can I have a garment that does not have my feet in so I can wear flip-flops? Yes, you can. Um, any style is possible with clinical reasoning. So you can start a garment just from your ankle up to your thigh or up to your waist and panty section. So uh, yeah, any style is possible at all for you. Just talk to your clinician. If you have to talk to the clinical team, we're very happy to answer any of your questions. Um, were there any other questions? Kate, did you see any other questions that had come in? There's not many more coming just yet. I think on um, as a representative of Legs Matter, I think it's really important um, in the style of the BBC. So do we make it clear that there's so many companies that provide hosiery and there's so many different types. Yeah. That, um, it's um, yeah. it, the variety is really brilliant. So yeah, there's a there's a massive range out there. Um, you just need to talk to your clinician really, and they'll signpost you in the right direction for you to get you know the best effects for the patients really for the people. So yeah, for the more complex patients, would hosiery such as these usually come from lymphedema clinics? Yes, yeah, they are the experts with lymphedema, with lipedema. So yeah, they will um, be accurate. What, you know, made to measure garments need to be very accurate because they are a bespoke garment always. So uh, yeah, they, you would normally have um, either from tissue viability point of view or lymph lymphedema. Yeah. yeah. But, and I think with every company, they have a clinical team. And so they will be able to guide whatever fabric that you go for, whatever um, company you choose. They will have a clinical team that will be able to help. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. yeah. So any more questions? Not sure. Um, I'm just running down the chat. Um, I think we've covered everything. Um, there was another one from Rita, actually, how to measure properly, techniques to apply it in an easy way. Yeah, there are. Um, I mean, again, it's difficult for me to answer questions from um, a very generic point of view, because obviously um, from a Medi perspective, though, we do a made to measure booklet made easy. We have the clinical support and reasoning and obviously face to face and Zoom calls to be able to guide people. And we have during this lockdown, we have got a lot of resources now that we can send out to people to help them and guide them and videos to watch as well. We have Facebook and Instagram and websites and everything to help people. Yeah. 
It would be the same for the techniques to apply as well, wouldn't it? There's a, yes. a huge yes. variety of aids to help get them on. Yeah, and that's one of the very important aspects, really, because once you've got a garment that fits you well, you've got to make sure that you get it on. Um, so there are devices and adaptations and applicators to be able to help you again, which they're all on drug tariffs or on prescribable to be able to help and a good pair of rubber gloves will always help as well. Short fingernails, no stoned rings and help you get them on without any crinkles and wrinkles. Make sure you take them off at night. But again, you can keep them on at night if you need to. Um, but make sure you look after your skin, keep it hydrated and wash your garments frequently as well to make sure that they restore the fabric. Turn it to, return it to factory settings. <laughs> uh, yeah. here, do the colours and patterns cost extra? No, they don't. They don't. No. So they're available in our Mediven Cozy range and our Mediven um, Mondi range at no extra charge. Our 550 um, is only available via purchase. But yeah, they don't cost any extra at all. And you mentioned then about caring for the garments and washing them. Um, is there any specific advice about drying them? Can you tumble dry? Do you not? No, with any any garment, really, you must always follow the manufacturer's guidance. So always read the small print. Um, because there's no latex in our products, um, you don't have to worry about um, fabric softener at all. But fabric softener um, may block the breathability of our garments. So always follow the instructions, but the vast majority of them can be washed in the washing machine and tumble dried on a cool setting. Yeah, so they're quite easy to look after these days. You don't have to hang them on a line and let them dry for three weeks. They're very quick because they've got the climate <laughs> comfort control in them. Yeah, so they're dry. Yeah. Were there any other questions that we saw? Um, anything from your angle, team or Kate? Just having a look through the questions. Obviously, if you do have any questions, ladies and gentlemen, you can always ping them across on an email to the team and we can field them for you afterwards. What would you suggest uh, somebody does if they were to accidentally rip their hosiery or if they noticed a hole in their hosiery? It, well, obviously, go back to the prescriber and ask them. Um, before they leave the factory, they always go through a very, very strict quality control. So they're very, very rare that there are any, any issues at all. Yeah. Obviously, we do get mistakes and sometimes we do put our fingers through. You've got long fingernails, so you do have to look after them and applying, using them a, a pair of rubber gloves will really help you get garments on easier. But if you do notice any snags or holes, obviously go straight back to the uh, the prescriber who can then take it further and come back to the manufacturer and they can investigate to see if there was a, a manufacturing problem but it's it's very very no, yeah it's yeah. more if people accidentally rip them themselves putting them on no, no. Rushing or long yeah. nails and big rings yeah. yeah i mean that is one very good point actually kate is when the, you do go into compression hosiery it's much easier to get a flat knit garment on than a round knit but you do need to to make sure that you leave plenty of time. So you've got an appointment at half nine, don't be putting your hosiery on at 28 minutes past. Leave plenty of time where it's comfortable and you can fit it all correctly. Another question from Joe has come here. How do you suggest disposing of used stockings in a normal rubbish or recycling? Um, I don't really think that they can be recycled. I mean, you can use them as a duster always if when they're worn out, but otherwise I think you just have to bin them, yeah. And they will obviously last for six months of guaranteed daily use. Um, but after they've had their life, really, it's um, it's a graveyard for them, I think. Yeah. It does seem like such a shame, doesn't it? But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, there's yeah. nothing more confusing for people if they've got a drawer full of stockings that they've had. Yeah, yeah. Some they've had for three months, some they've had for three years. So yeah. it's just to get um, hold on. Yeah. Another question here: Do you need to measure at certain times of the day? Yes, it is important. If you can um, be measured first thing in the morning when your edema is at its least, really when you've just got out of bed. But if that's not possible, your clinician can take that into consideration. We always advise that patients lay down to have their legs measured simply because it's more comfortable for them and it prevents any swelling um, rebounding very quickly. Um, another question, can I wash the special made to measure garments in a washing machine? Yes, you can. 
follow the guidance obviously there will be a label on the garments and there will be a printed leaflet with your garments do read it um, but you can wash fabric you can wash medis fabric in a washing machine on and tumble dry on a cool setting yeah they're pretty <laughs> what advice would you give to people who are worrying about sleeping in garments um it's not a, it, you can sleep in garments because obviously we use compression bandages and velcro wraps overnight as well and sometimes it's important to keep garments on if you're preventing a situation from rebounding so you're going through the maintenance phase so as you can sleep in them as long as you're comfortable but I would, if, you know, in a textbook situation, I would take them off every day and examine your skin, particularly between any skin folds and between your toes or, or fingers. Um, emollients are very important to apply to keep your skin hydrated. Um, and obviously you will need to wash your fabric as well. You can put emollients on before you put your garments on, but make sure then that you are washing your garments frequently to restore that factory setting and make sure that you're washing out any emollients and you don't want it to clog up the uh, sensitive climber comfort and the pores. So yes, it's possible, but make sure you're comfortable. Make sure you look after your skin. So we, we suggest yeah. applying the cream and then waiting a while before you put the hosiery on. Oh, you can do, because we don't have any latex, it doesn't really bother our garments at all. Um, sometimes it helps got your garments to go on. Um, but yeah, you apply it if you want to rest for, you know, five minutes, let it soak in, that's fine. Um, yeah, a good technique really is putting your emollients on at night if you're taking your garments off and then do your hygiene routine in the morning, put your garments straight back on again. Yeah. Can I ask, I was just thinking the kind of questions that people might ask, if, the, if you are taking off your garments on a night, is it important that you put them back on first thing or can you have your breakfast? Well, absolutely, yeah. And, um, well, you can have your breakfast. Maybe you could have your breakfast in bed. <laughs> <laughs> you know get back into your hosiery as soon as you possibly can it's there for a reason and it's there to prevent your edema your swelling rebounding so the more you keep your garments off the worse your edema will become so yeah as soon as you get up and your legs are dependent you're walking around get your hosiery back on and you'll find it much easier when your legs are less swelling less swollen as well so it is important yeah and more comfortable as well so the longer you leave it, really, your leg will just start swelling with it. Yes. Yeah, the worse it will become, really. Yeah. Um, yes. Um, any other questions? Just flick down. Private practice training. Yeah, we've got training to offer. We've got resources that we can send out in hard copy and electronically, and that will be the same, I presume, for lots of companies. Um, we're basically here to help nurses, clinicians, practitioners, and patients themselves as well. You've got to feel good about compression. You know, it, you're going to be in it for a lifetime. So it's got to be comfortable for you. It's going to be your friend. And once you get the right sizing and comfort, you'll be away and it will give you back your freedom and your independence. Yeah. It's lovely when you meet patients who are so passionate about the compression mm -hmm. that they want it right, they know what they need. Well, in that video that you just watched, Ramona um, had it wouldn't go into compression and she was persuaded by one of her colleagues. And then, of course, as she said, you know, you can see the joy on her face, can't you? Oh, really, yeah. you know, the garment now that it's really comfortable. Yeah. So some people need a lot of persuading, but when yeah. it's right. Yeah. Um, I think we've just got two minutes left of this live chat. So if there are any burning questions, do pop them across now because we'll be disappearing very shortly. But um, if there aren't, thank you very much for your attention. Um, Kate, anything, any final words of wisdom? Not really. Oh, last minute question. What's the advice on going into stockings following an ulcer healing? Yeah, obviously imperative. Keep that ulcer healed and keep your garments on. So as soon as your ulcer's healed, get your therapist, your practitioner to measure you for compression hosiery. Yeah. What, whatever you've been in before, you might have been in a bandage or a Velcro wrap, or you might have been in, in a two-layer um, compression system, you need to keep your compression on. Definitely get into um, compression hosiery after healing an ulcer. Yeah. Yeah, with the leg ulcer hosiery kits now, more for venous leg ulcers rather than lymphedema. Mm. But yeah. with the leg ulcer hosiery kits now, you can have a hosiery kit on much 
earlier on in the process. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you still kit. there. You can yeah, still yeah, get your hydration from the hosiery kit. Yes. It's yeah. lovely if the patient, as long as it's effective, it's lovely because the patient can get normal shoes on and they yeah. start learning to love hosiery much earlier on in the process. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait yeah. Till it's I, re I really think gone are the days where compression is seen as something evil and painful. It's not anymore. It's fashionable, it's comfortable, and it's going to be your friend, really. Yeah. Beautiful ending, Monica. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Thank you very much, Kate. Thank you, Legs Matter. Look forward to the fifth and final day. Have a super weekend, everybody, and enjoy enjoy life. It's there to be lived. Thanks, Monica. Uh, all right. Thank you very much. All the best, everybody. Bye. Okay.